Uh, I'm gonna just make you this quick video, like I said I was going to, on how to generate the graphs. Now, I'm gonna use atomic radius. Uh, I went ahead and put this together yesterday. Uh, so here they are right here, okay? You should have one through 36, the atomic number, the atomic radius, and the element. You guys have the name, but to make it quicker for myself, I just put the, the chemical symbol. All right, so one quick little trick is I want you guys to, to notice that with the, with the MacBook and you don't have a mouse, sometimes it's a little bit hard to get all these guys highlighted. So what I do is I use my two fingers and I pinch them together and I kind of zoom it out a little bit and make it small, okay? Then I can highlight, hopefully, all the elements. Look at that, so close. Let me try again. If not, I'll zoom out and there it goes. There it is. All right, let me try it again, but there it is. Okay, so now I got all my guys highlighted. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go to insert. All right, I'm gonna come over here to all the little charts. I'm gonna select the one that says scatter. If you, if you hover your mouse pointer, uh, cursor, over each little graph, it'll tell you what it is. So you wanna select scatter. When you click on that, you're gonna pick the fourth one to the right that has straight lines and uh, markers. So you're gonna click on that guy. Okay, now here you're gonna come up with all these little designs, pick whichever one you want, but what you have to do is make sure you go to quick layout and select the one that has, um, that has the axis titles, okay? All right, so I wanna move this guy over here a little bit. Now, with my two fingers, I'm gonna open them and I'm gonna zoom in a little bit, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and change this guy's name and this is what I want you guys to do with your graph. I'm gonna change this guy to atomic number. And I'm gonna change this guy to atomic radius. Atomic radius. If I'm going too fast, just pause it and rewind it and do it again. I just didn't wanna make you guys like a 20 minute video. So I'm trying to kinda of go through it a little bit. Okay, so the title of my graph is going to be Atomic Number versus Atomic Radius. All right. Okay, so this is how you set up your graph, okay? You have to have all these things uh, before you put it into your notebook. Now, I'm going to show you something else real quick. I'm going to scoot this over. All right, and I'm gonna come over here to my element names. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. All right. There we go. Okay, now what I want you to do is I want you to click on, on one of the little dots on your graph. You're gonna click on that. And then with a two finger click, you're gonna click on it again, and then you're gonna add data labels right here. Boom, okay. Now what it's gonna do, it's gonna default to adding the numbers. Don't worry about that, okay? We're gonna format these guys now. So once again, go back to the dot, you're gonna do a two finger click, and then you're gonna format data labels, okay? You're gonna format data labels. All right, so when, the, when you do that, a screen's gonna, a window's gonna open up to the right, okay? And then what I want you to do is, I want you to select value from cells, okay? And then another window's gonna pop up. It's gonna ask you, what cells do you wanna use for the labels? Okay, that's when you're gonna come over here and you're gonna highlight your names, okay? So let's see if we can do it. Include all of them all the way down. Ah, no. Okay, so let's zoom out. Okay, value from cells. And now you're gonna go back and do the same thing. There they are, okay? Don't worry if you can't see them right now. You're gonna click okay. Okay. And then you're gonna uncheck Y value. Uncheck Y value. That's gonna take away those numbers. Now, right now it's hard to see, but once you close this window, okay, and you zoom into your graph, you're gonna be able to see it a little bit clearer. Now, this is why I wanted you guys to stretch it out real big. You see how everything's kind of jumbled up? Okay, what you're gonna do is you're gonna stretch it and you're gonna make it bigger. And this is exactly why I wanted you to make it bigger, 
okay? So that's how you set it up, guys. That's how you set it up. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. Um, but for right now, I just try and do it from the video. Uh, this is, again, going to be in the collaboration space, and I'll let you guys know that during class. But watch the video, and I want you to set up all of your graphs just like this, okay? Good luck.